Let me guess. I only got a quarter to have the name of my martini bar change and have me evicted from my room. No, we haven't got that one yet. Oh, then it's a good day so far. Olivia, what are you going to do? I don't know, Cassie. Maybe I'll take a walk or something. About the hotel. I do not want Alan for a partner in the Beacon. I don't want that any more than you do. What do you want me to do? Well, you made it happen. You go fix it. Fix it? How would you like me to fix it? I don't care. Go beg for his forgiveness. Go grovel if you have to. Uh-uh. <laughs> no way. He's the one. I don't care who did it, okay? I don't care who did it. I don't care about your pride. Hell, I don't even care if you're happy. I am not going to let your personal problems ruin what we built here. I don't lose this hotel any more than you do, but you don't understand. Then make me understand, please. You want make details? Me understand. Do I need them? No. Okay, look. I'm sorry. I am sorry. But we've got to put our heads together here. <sighs> okay, look. All you need to know is that Alan tricked me into marrying him. The heart attacks, both of them fake, fake. You're joking. Nope, lied to me about the whole thing. What? He lied to you about his heart attacks and that's why he threw you out? No, that, that wasn't... You know what? It doesn't matter. You wanted to know why I can't even talk to Alan, much less grovel, that's why. Okay, all right. I'm sorry. I, I, what he did was horrible, and I'll give you that, but you had to know it was Alan. I mean, you couldn't have been surprised. Now, Olivia, you ought to think about why he did it. He did it because he wanted to be with you that badly. I saw you guys together. It made it seem like love to me. Yeah. It did. And you want to know why? Because I turned myself inside out to be a good wife to him. I, I was jumping through hoops to prove myself to him, Cassie. It's done. It's over. I did everything I could to make that marriage work. Well, maybe it still can. You know, the man is lying in a hospital uh, bed. I've been Olivia. there, done that. That's why I signed the first prenup. Yes, but isn't he really sick this time? Uh, I don't know. The jury's out. Probably. Olivia, just go to him. What he did was terrible, but I am sure there were mistakes made on both sides. Yeah, there were mistakes made on both sides, Cassie. And yeah, he manipulated me and he lied to me. But you know, that's not even the worst part. The worst part was he made me feel lucky to get even that. Forget it. I'm done. Okay, look, I understand why you don't want to beg Alan for anything. I do. But we have a real problem here, Olivia. I mean, don't you want to hold on to the beacon? <sighs> yeah, of course I do, Cassie. This place was my dream. Mine too and Richards, and it's the only thing that my family has left. I don't want to see this place sold to some hotel chain. So look, I'm going to go talk to Alan. Hopefully, I'll keep it friendly. If not, if not, I don't know. I don't know. All right, look, I don't know if it's going to get to this, but if you decide you need to take some legal action, and if I have any money left after this divorce, I'll do whatever I can. Thank you. Me luck. Luck. Mrs. Spaulding? You have a call? It's Philip Spaulding? Hi. Hi. You busy? Oh, yeah, yeah. Tons to do. You know, with the divorce lawyer and the lawyers taking over the hotel and. Can that wait? Sure. I need to see you. I'll be here in my room. Just have the front desk call me when you get here. I'll be right there. 